Alright, moving on to chapter, uh, the prerequisite chapter, section 2 on exponents and scientific notation. We're going to learn how to use the product rule, the quotient rule, the zero exponent rule, the negative exponent rule, power rule, power of a product, uh, I'm supposed to say find the power of the quotient, and simplify exponential expressions use scientific notation. So first thing we're going to do is talk about just some basics. Uh, what you need to know anytime you have an exponent, you have a couple things going on. Obviously 2 is our exponent right here. Your exponent should be what they call a superscript. It should be smaller than your base written uh, up in the right hand corner. So our exponent here would be 2. X is the base. So the base is actually what we're going to square. And then you also have a coefficient. Coefficient is the number that comes before the base. So if you understand those three parts, it's going to make uh, most of your math pretty easy and stuff like this. We're going to look at just a couple examples because even though a lot of people have a lot of comfort level with exponents, they still tend to miss some problems like this. So we'll look at some. You can go ahead and pause the video. Go and try to do these three problems. I'll give you a little bit of time. Okay, hopefully you paused it and you got your answers. We're going to see what we ended up with right here. So anyway, 2 to the 4th. What 2 to the 4th means? It basically means uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which should give us 16. 2, 4, 8, 16. So uh, this basically means this, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right, the next one. The next one, uh, especially if I had put these up one at a time, I think you probably missed the next one. The answer to the next one is actually going to be negative 16. And the reason it's negative 16 is because our exponent of 4 actually has a base of 2. This negative right here is going to be your coefficient. So it's negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that's how we get negative 16. The difference between this one and this one is the base. Okay, here we had a base of 2 and a coefficient of negative 1. Here our base is actually negative 2. So this one will give us an answer of 16. And that's because it's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So when you're working these problems, make sure you understand your exponent and especially what your base is. If, it's, if there's parentheses right uh, before your exponent, then everything inside the parentheses is your base. If there's not, then the number uh, or sign in front of the term is actually its coefficient. 